two, two one. one. Two. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Oh. Yay! <laughs> Hi everyone! Happy New Year! Yay! <laughs> I am here today in a different place. Hello! Hello! <laughs> for having no me. No worries, I'm sorry I poisoned you with lunch. <laughs> no, it was lovely, she made a very nice lunch. Yeah. So we're going to be filming two videos today. This one's going to be going up on my channel, thank you very much, yeah. and our second video is going to be going up on Alex's channel. We're going to start off reflecting on the last year, we're going to be thinking about our year, the things we've made, the things we've loved, our favourite pattern, favourite pattern companies, and then over on Alex's channel, what are we going to be doing? We're going to be going into the future, which is actually the present because we're now in that year. Yay! Yay! Sewing <laughs> resolutions. Yes. So the things we want to make, things we don't want to make. <laughs> and all that jazz. And all that jazz. <laughs> yeah. Shall we get started? I have written things wow. down. Oh, where have I put my diary? I'm gonna get my diary. Yeah, we've got five subheadings, five things we're gonna be talking about today. Five. The first is gonna be our favourite make of the year. And um, then we're gonna be talking about our most used pattern slash pattern company, our most sentimental make, our favourite hack, because we both love a pattern hack. Love and then lastly, our most worn, our hero piece of the year. So Without further ado, should we get started? Do you want to show yours first? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so we're going to start off with Alex's favourite make. Get my slippers make. on, get my slippers on. Get my... So, Alex, what's your favourite make of 2017? The thing I've only been making in 2017. <laughs> it is the Vogue um, Very Easy Wrap Dress. And I, I did a little fluted sleeve hack. I love this. I actually wore this on my birthday. It was made for my birthday. Aww. It was like a cat. Yeah. It's really soft. So and did you have, you had the par going down? I had the so you went, you went shiny. I went shiny. I was yeah. like, bring on the shine. I thought in front times it looked really good. It's your birthday. Yeah, you've got to shine. Birthday. And I, I wanted it. to make a dress like the Aurora dress from Sleeping Beauty. We'll insert really a pic here if you're not sure what that looks Aurora. like. Aurora. <laughs> Aurora. Even though it's not like a medieval, Disney medieval dress. It's like the kind of colours. So I was mm. like, oh. So yeah, I brought a bit of Disney princess into my life. So yeah. It's beautiful. Thank I you. love it. But it's such a fun sew. I like a pattern where you find a sew where you just like, mm, you don't even need to look at the instructions. You just, yeah. you just do it. That's, that's the best kind of. It's so pretty. Did you make this on a regular sewing machine? Regular sewing machine, and then I overlocked it. You overlocked it, and then I burnt it with the iron. Oh. <laughs> Part you of making you this. can't see it. It's <laughs> fine, but yeah, I love I love this dress. I like a little sewing confession. It's like yeah, I this on the iron, We'll put yeah. some pictures in of us wearing these too, because we're, yeah. we're not going to be wearing all these because yeah. we just it would take a very long time for yeah. us to all put all these clothes on in one video. Yeah. <laughs> Warning, superpose. Yeah, start here of this <laughs> just over dress. my face. We'll have the pictures. <laughs> okay. yeah. But yeah, I love this dress. I want to wear it with like glittery shoes. Always mm. a good staple for me. It's glittery shoes, but yeah, I just I love it. It's so luxurious, but it wasn't that expensive. The fabric was from Shepherd's Bush, so yeah. Yeah. We've got a few more Shepherd's Bush fabric finds. I'm pretty much yours now. Okay, my favourite make is actually I decided to. Uh, I know. Ooh. Ooh. Whoops. Ooh. Um, I decided to wear my favourite make because today, as modelled by, by me. No, today you can't see. It's a horrible grey, wet and miserable day. So I decided classic to wear British day. classic British London day. day. Um, so I'm wearing my favourite dungarees. These are a McCall's pattern, the number I cannot recall. I will link it down below. Um, but they are my favourite make because I, even though I only made them in the autumn, I can see myself wearing them into the spring and the summer, like just all year round with different tops underneath. Like Swedish clogs. Yeah, yeah, and clogs. And clogs. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, today I've got it with like a long sleeve cosy jumper, which is my Kyoto tee, which I also love, but it's not quite got the same wear as these dungarees. I swear the week that I made these, I wore them like pretty much every day because I'm obsessed. And I, yeah, I'll see. Have you a, have see. A there they I go. Love your aesthetic today. It's very Parisian. Because you. you've got your little Eiffel Tower. I do have little Eiffel Tower yeah. earrings on. I was also wearing a beret earlier, but I took it off because I thought it might, like be little, it might be a little bit. It might be overkill, <laughs> overkill, all the Parisian <laughs> wannabe. Um, yeah, they're really good. They're high waisted which I like so a bit more flattering than I don't really like a low rise because I'm a bit more of a pear shaped person so I do love the rise. so cute. Thank you. So those are our favourites. Mm. Favourite makes done. Next topic number two. number two. Our most used pattern slash most used pattern company. Tilly the buttons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Always. I love Tilly's patterns simply because when I was quite, when I was young, we'd like, take it back now, y'all. Take it back about. When you were young. When I was young. What are you, 26? <laughs> 27, but yeah, I'm not a young girl. All the clothes that were in fashion were kind of like, like we're taking it back like Paris Hilton days, guys. Velour tracksuit era, mm. do you remember? Yeah. yeah, maybe like 2005. 2005, all the clothes that were kind of like in weren't like clothes that I liked mm. at all. Like I felt awkward in jeans and a t-shirt, which for some people is great, but for me personally, I just didn't feel my sassier self. Yeah. And then Tilly's book came out. 
holy moly when i was looking through i was like this is literally my dream wardrobe and i think from that point on it has been the case they're like well i wouldn't use the word staple but they're literally they fulfill my heart every single pattern that she comes out with is literally like my 16 year old self going ah <laughs> make it so yeah i've made a lot of tinny stuff this year i love i love all I love the pants as well i'm not sure that this year and they're my most used um, mm. Simply because I've made them all, pretty much. <laughs> I've made <laughs> in the other things. years before. I did make the Etta dress this year. Oh yeah. Um, and I love my Etta dress. I made it in mm. like a leopard print fabric, which was really, really like a turquoise leopard I print. Made that yet. It's a really good fit. Like it fit that. me straight out of the package, just perfectly. Ooh. I would. I know. Love it. And it's a pencil That's dress. That's a treat. So it's a, it's really surprising <laughs> yeah. when something mm. is so fitted. Um, yeah, no, I, I agree. I absolutely love her patterns. I, actually, I can I can relate to that. I remember being like 14 or 15 mm. and being obsessed with the 1950s look. Yeah. I don't no, really go too. for it now. Yeah. yeah. But I did that yeah. in a, a really big way. Yeah. I remember saying to my mum, I wish I could wear dresses. And her saying to me, just wear a dress. No, I remember the same thing. Like, I remember saying. Jeans or trousers. Like, and if you wore a dress, it was like it was dressed up they were like oh yeah. where are you going i'm like nowhere yeah. some of my colleagues to this day they've given up asking where i'm going where are you going so i'm like no just my life <laughs> You're just wearing a really nice I'm just dress wearing today. a wiggle dress today. Yeah. So my most used pattern of the year, I've kind of cheated and done two here. The first is a basic, and I think the reason that I've used this the most is because I wear one of these pretty much every day, mm. and that's a jersey top. I wear jersey tops every day of the year, pretty much. <laughs> point, point. Stripes are like a circle. Yeah. Point. <laughs> they really are. Um, and I've made this in stripes as well, mm. but uh, this is the named clothing powder top. I love it. I haven't made um, one of these. Everyone's making them, I feel left out. They're the best, well, really they are the best. I love a polar neck. I, mm -hmm. It's actually rare that I have something that's not touching my neck. But anyway, <laughs> so this is, this is fabric from Loving the Fabric in Richmond. Um, it's just really lovely. It's plain, but um, I th actually Ooh. never thought I'd make plain tops. And I found that actually I love the bright colors and you can't always find the color that you mm -hmm. like. I wear them all the time. You can see it's bobbling. It's, it's a good like, layer. It's so much. It's a layer. Because you, you are a layer. Layer. <laughs> I'm a layer. She's a layer. <laughs> Whatever that means. She layers. Um, I do. Yeah, you're always in like a jersey or a brattle. Always got That's a lot of clothes on. I get yeah. cold. But yeah, so like a big cozy jersey layer. But the other most used. This is my favourite one you've ever made. I love it. Yes. I was scrolling through your Instagram and I was yeah. like, oh, this one. Um, my other oh. most used pattern um, is not this entire dress, but it's this bodice pattern. So this is a new look bodice pattern, which I've mentioned loads of times. I know. <laughs> but I have used this bodice pattern in several different combinations this year. And last year too, actually. But um, yeah, so I thought I'd share that one. This is a dress I made for my friend Jen's wedding in Liberty Tarn Lawn. This is really pretty. If you can see it like this, go. Oh, it's very nice. It's so pretty. I love <laughs> so this color. I love it. And this is a gift from my boyfriend. So it's extra special. It's quite folksy. So, the print, like Russian. It's just so fun. I love it. Yeah. So it's a really great bodice pattern. And I love the look you went for with the wedding with the clogs. Oh, thank it you. It looked really cute. Thank anything anything with a clog, I'm there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so many clogs. These are clogs. That's no. Yeah. Oh my goodness, they're the ones you wore. Yes, I know. And the yeah. ones you wore. And I was like, what? They're clogs. I know. Clark fiend. I am a clark, clark fiend. fiend. <laughs> uh, right, so our next category is most sentimental make of the year. Get the tissues out. So, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> get those away from her. So my most sentimental make is my Christina Hayes Emery dress in this beautiful mm. cotton and steel fabric. It has a Peter Pan collar and I did a box pleat hack on the skirt and I also cut the selvage and made a wee little label. I don't know why I just spoke about that. That's lovely. Yeah, but I just thought, you know, they're so pretty. Mm. Like, why, why waste them? And it has pockets. That's all you need to know. Pockets, pockets, pockets. And it's sentimental to me because this <laughs> fabric, you know, I'll keep you a secret of Demonstration. that. Demonstration. Okay. Demonstration. Um, I just love this fabric and it reminds me of the time me and my boyfriend spent in New York together and it was a really fun time. So I obviously had to have it. I mean, it just makes my heart very happy. So my boyfriend used to um, work in New York and it was really sad because he was away for like huge chunks of time. And I decided to basically quit my job and go out there for a max time on a visiting visa and it was the best decision I ever made and you know what it was amazing it was so fun like it was great we went to Central Park and we had ice cream and yeah it was, it was just such a fun time to be like free you know like no job it's so romantic it is very well. romantic and it's it was so sweet. yeah and, it, and on paper it's like oh my goodness what are you doing but this dress just reminds me of that time we had together and I had like a giant it's pineapple drink and it's got on. taxis on and it just reminds me of that time we had together there and it was so fun and it worked out guys because he's now back in the UK with me <laughs> Woo! Yay. and we're in that house <laughs> I'm in my flat with <laughs> him we have our first flat together this is it yeah it's really cute yeah. I love it it's a lovely <laughs> 
a lovely yeah, dress as well. Is. I've I never mean, actually tried a Christine Haynes pattern, but I it's love beautiful. Her patterns. I don't have to alter this one either. Oh, Literally, good. the bodice is perfect for me, straight, straight from the pack. And I've made another um, emery dress fabric that has the London South Bank on it. So all my that. emery dresses are quite sentimental. Mm. So yeah, I love an emery. I love mm. it. Mm -hmm. I love that fabric anyway, even if I hadn't known the story behind it, yeah. it's such a nice dress. I mean, it's so much, I mean, it's got bikini, menus, flowers, passports, lemonade. Oh, oh my goodness, SPF 30 plus, that's me. Beautiful. Thank Shall you. I get mine? Yes, yes. get my most sentimental. Okay, my most sentimental make, um, although actually I could have quite easily chosen this dress. They go hand it. in hand. Because this was yeah. for my friend Jen's wedding, which was a wonderful day. We used to live together and we were students, so it was really lovely. Oh. She was the first of us to get she's married. She's the first one. It's always the first one you get married. She's the first one. Like, we've lost her. We haven't lost her. No, she's still there. <laughs> she's, she's still there. Still there. She's, she's happy. She's just married. She's very happy. So my most sentimental make of the year are my shirts I made for my boyfriend. Oh, Again, so it's nice. going to get a bit cheesy. We'll try and keep so the short. Nice. Thank you. Like, I, I'm sorry, Lee. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to make you a shirt anytime soon. But well, I if you do, I mean, I, we got engaged. So I think I, I credit it purely to shirt man. <laughs> <It's our laughs> is this the secret? This the oh secret. my goodness, now I know. Engaged. I'm going to get a ring because I'll make a shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. this is a Berlin men's pattern again. I'll link it down below. Oh, oh no. it's so pretty. There you go. So this is a uh, Japanese fabric from Doughty's. They have a really amazing selection of cottons. It's a Berlin mm. pattern. Um, and this is my favourite one. He doesn't know I've stolen this for the day. The He's at good. work, so he won't know. The cuffs Thank are you. Good. The cuffs are all right. They haven't been ironed. Yeah. And yeah, I love these. And I, I love. love I think for me, like seeing him wearing them is just like it's. It's, it's like a fashion show for you. It is. It's like it's he's just, your model. He is my model. Um, <laughs> you could. Like, he's like your walking portfolio. You can just, is, like, yeah. just like, like roll, roll him out whenever <laughs> I'm gonna impress people. Um, Put your good shirt on. When I meet you, I didn't make him wear one at Christmas. I was like, where's the shirt I made? Make him. I suggest. Suggested, you know. But anyway, um, yeah, mm. I love seeing him wear them. It's really nice. So those yeah. are my most sentimental. Maybe we'll cut it there before we get too too cheesy. Love cheese. Um, so next category, category four or five. Don't worry, we're nearly there. Is that uh, <laughs> favorite hack? Oh, Ooh, you're you like a hack, hack queen. You are the queen of hacks. Thank you, likewise. Yes. Really? Oh my god. <laughs> Let's see. Share the trophy. So good one. I can see what's coming. It's really good. <laughs> so Alex's favorite hack. Ooh, it is another Vogue pattern. <laughs> And it's a jumpsuit with wide, hello everybody, wide let look. Oh my god. How wide? If you jump out of a plane, you're good, honey. Like, <laughs> you're good. You're good to jump. <laughs> the biggest chance. It's ever. amazing. Yeah. I feel so sassy in this. I've got a version of this. Have you? Yeah, I do. Where did I, who, where, who, I swear, maybe I just found it, it's quite where I find, find a random pattern. Yeah. I think this is random, but. It's very yeah. easy Vogue. It is a very yeah. easy. Yeah. I made easy. a version of this like three years ago. <gasps> She got there first. Was. <laughs> Conquered. But it's before I used to make videos, so I mean, like, oh, it's, right. it's, it's a lost to the It's in your past life. <laughs> yeah. You didn't blog about it, did it even happen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still have it. Still yeah, wear it, but it didn't still happen. There. It yeah. didn't happen. But, yeah, and it's gingham. <laughs> it's beautiful. I and mean, we it's all know, gingham. we all know, I'm a big fan. She loves a gingham. Of the gingham. Of the gingham. Oh, it's gorgeous. But I added this, I don't know if you can see it, but a ruffle along um, the bust. And it's very cute. And then instead of a button, I added a tie. Because I hate buttons. Oh, thanks. Like a tight demonstration. Oh, that's the other end. Yeah. Nice little tie there. Because I hate a button. Because I don't know about you, but it gets tangled in your hair at the back. Oh, Do you ever get that no. when you have something with a button? It like, like your hair just wraps around it. That's that's me anyway. But yeah, I added yeah. a tie because I thought, you know, I've had a ruffle. Why not add a bow? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I love this. And but it's, it's not too girly. Even though it's got the ruffle and bow because it's black yeah. and white. It's and quite it's got trousers and a yeah. white trouser. It looks, yeah. it looks great. And again. <laughs> High heeled clock. Can you make a video about how you did that? I did. <laughs> Bing! I'm not on exactly a, like a tutorial, but I kind of explain how to do it. And it's, you know, it's so easy because it's on a princess theme. So I think, mm -hmm. you know, a hack doesn't have to be like a whole no. bodice of one. You can just add like the teeny little details just to make it a bit more unique. So yeah, I love this one. It's very nice. Yeah. I love it. I feel very sassy. I feel like if like Dorothy was around today, I think she would wear a job. I think she would. I'm just putting out there. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> My favorite hack is this one, and it oh, is it's glittery. It's glittery. This is um, a Tilly and the Buttons Agnes tee. It's my favourite jersey top pattern, I think, um, that doesn't have a pearl neck, of course. I've got a lot of jersey tops, yes. I love them. Um, but I have also made a video for this, but it's just, I, I basically mm. just changed the neckline. If you don't know, the it's Agnes slash. top. <gasps> yeah. This is the slash one. Yeah, so I need to do the hack. So I it's, um, the, hack. the Agnes top has like a really deep scoop neck, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, I just changed it to have a slash neck. And I, I actually prefer the look of a slash neck top. I think it goes with that like Breton, yeah, French retro. kind of cute style. Yeah. I love the glitz. I love Every it Every day glitter. Every day. 
daily day glitter. glitter. Yeah, <laughs> it's a mantra for life. Um, I'm pathetic every day. But I've made, I think, two, I think I made three of these. I've made this oh, one. I know. I've made a blue it. and white stripe and one on oh, a pink and white stripe. So I've got yeah three. But basically, I once I had to clear out all my ready-to-wear jersey tops, which just got really old. They, uh, really after gross. Time, they get really manky. Exactly. They so this year really has been gross. a year of just like because they're gradually. Yeah, exactly. Like every day. It's not like, every day for me. Every day. <laughs> okay. uh, I wear them all the time. Yeah. So yeah, I just decided they were just. I wanted to replace them. I didn't want to yeah. replace them with shop bought. I wanted to make my own jersey. That's so nice basics. though. Like it was just nice. a little boost to your handmade wardrobe, yeah. and it's not too like I'm going to make 50 dresses. Just well, a few good Breton tops. This is it. I, I try. I try. Obviously, I don't always succeed, but I. Try and make things I actually will wear regularly. Oh yeah, I think it's a yeah. Because then you enjoy it. Yes, yeah, you get to exactly. the most and it's time well spent then. Yeah. So that's my favourite hack. It's a really simple one, but I got a lot of good wear out of that. It's Our last category, which I think. Going back to that stripe top, I think it's one of the most important ones, is our most worn. So our hero yeah. piece, what is the thing that this year has stood out and you've worn it over and over and over again? Lots of time. Oh, I need to go get it. Yeah, you go. <laughs> Alex's most worn thing, and it's leopard and velvet. My boyfriend calls this um, a leprechaun. <laughs> but, um, um, sh oh, it's open. Ooh, scandalous. <laughs> again, another very easy uh, wrap dress. This was my most worn make last year, but in polka dot. Oh, so I, made, I like, remember that, it was like a Ponte de Roma. Ponte Roma, I wore that all the time, and then I made another one. And again, I, I did make this towards the end of the year, like November, because I got mm. the fabric at the Sobra meetup, but literally it's been my go-to grab piece. And the reason it's my most worn piece is because I just feel so sassy in it. I love it, it's green, it's it's leopard, which is, again, yeah. as Abby from Crafty Pinup says, it's a neutral. It is. <laughs> Leopard's neutral. I love that in more than one place. <laughs> yeah, I love it, love it. So yeah, I I, just, I love it, and it's really cute, and it's green, and it's festive, mm. and I mean. The you know, color really, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great, I love it. And I did a little hack to give it a longer sleeve so it's warmer but yeah I love it and it's so comfortable it literally feels like secret pajamas it's so snuggly I, I find velvet yeah. is actually really warm to wear velvet's, velvet's been like my theme this year it is like velvet. very on trend it. it's so so but this is just a brilliant most worn thing I love it it's so snuggly and I wore on New Year's Eve Aww. and I'm actually a cheese board Yes. So winning. So when you have the wrap, you can open it up. You can open it up. <laughs> Loosen up. <laughs> Loosen it up. Show everything. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the cardigan? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, I really want to do like a hack on this and make it into like a ballerina top. Mm. You know, like a wrap with a, maybe a little peplum. That would be, be really so easy cute. to do as well. Yeah. Adorable. Yeah. My most worn thing, I'm pretty sure it was my most worn last mm. year as well. Because I'm boring. <laughs> button down. And it's a button down mini skirt, mini skirt. which is a new look pattern. I will put a picture here because the number escapes me. I actually made this like three years ago. It's so, so cute. I love that. But denim this denim. is my most worn thing. I wear this at least once a week, probably twice. I wear it to work. I wear it to play. I wear a skirt everywhere. Basically, I just love it, and it goes well with all of these jersey tops that I'm obsessed with. Nothing like mm. a striped Breton. Denim mini skirt, beret, Done. set to go, Staples. good to go. Um, yeah, and it's it's just a really good one. And it, I actually would say this fabric is from Fabricland. It survived very well. It has survived, especially with London so water. well. Yeah, I mean London honestly, water. this fabric. I don't even think it looks old. It's I love the nothing... tortoiseshell buttons. Thank you. Because they're great for summer as well and winter. I know it's yeah. also like this button is so you know like trans. Fancy is and all. Mm. Um, it's a trans. Well, it's a classic button. Classic. It's a classic skirt. Is so, yeah. was this one that was just in your stash? Uh, no, I did no, buy this actually. Them. Yeah, but I mean, again, like three or four years ago. I don't remember where I made this. Be back. Made it a while ago, and I absolutely mm. love this mini skirt. It's really cute. I did shorten it from the pattern, if I recall. I've shortened everything because I'm short. <laughs> Never mind. Plus, it's cute. And it's cute. <laughs> and it's cute. Yeah. I love wearing mini things in the winter because then I wear tights and boots. I would not wear things that short in the summer with mm. no tights. I would just be like, oh, not really me. I do love like a midi. Flow. Yeah. But in the winter, I do love like the shorter the better. Mm. No, I agree. <laughs> the whole sixties aesthetic. I can't wear too short because at work I have to bend over a lot. I don't care. <laughs> 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 fair enough. Fair enough. Good luck. Anyway, those are our five it? categories. There is one bonus round. Ding ding ding. Ding ding ding. Bonus round. Okay. We're gonna pick our favourite thing that the other person has made. So. Can I go first? Yes, you can, for once. So, <laughs> I'm going fast. My favourite thing that you've made is your black polka dotted Martha dress by Tilly and the Buttons. I'm obsessed with that dress, it's so like nice. It? I really love it. It's really nice. I'm really glad you love it. So, yeah, well done. Like <laughs> Like I'll put, we'll put pictures in here because I didn't sass. know that, so we don't have it here. Oh, all the sass. But yeah, it's so cute and it's like a short and it's like, it's yeah, sassy. 
I love it. Like, when you put it on, you just want to go like. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, it. it brings it's up mainly, the fuss. Yeah, it's mainly want to make that dress. <gasps> Have you not made it? I made it. What's it? So you? I made it. It's got a funnel like, neck. I, I, it's got a funnel neck. I made it when the pattern came out because um, oh, okay. it came out shortly after I did the modelling with Tilly. Oh. But she sent me a copy of it. I made it, but I made it in the wrong fabric. I made it in oh. cotton, and I, I actually, uh, I, uh, yeah, uh, yeah no, it was a wrong. I made it was all me. I made the completely mm. wrong fashion, fashion, yeah, fashion and fabric choice. It was just a bad choice. Yeah. Anything with drape. That yeah. one is like it, that's divine. The thing, so I really it's would love divine. to make it with like a nice yeah. drapey I really fabric. want to make another one. I'm desperate to make another one. <laughs> You've actually brought um, your favorite make that you made. It's it's the, the purple one. I oh. love it because it's it's really sad because Rosa, <laughs> as you it? know, her old Instagram is no longer here. It's no longer it's no here. longer here. It's really sad because I did love a good scroll through your Instagram. Thank you. Any day, mate. Um, but I, <laughs> <laughs> I just love this dress because it's purple. It's Liberty. It's just, oh, it's, I, yeah, I love it's you really in purple. Nice. It's really I, nice. I love the colour purple. And it's yeah. the colour of the year for 2018. It, is it? It is. Who told you that? Uh, Pan Pantone. <laughs> Pantone? Yeah, Pantone do their colour oh, of the year. Oh, yeah, the, yeah. This is but it. But it's more yeah. like an aubergine colour. It's not really mm. this like bright purple. But yeah. Eggplant. Yeah, eggplant. Eggplant. Yeah, I just love this shape on you. I love the fact that it's a hack. I love the fact that it has drape, but it still looks wearable. It looks like one of those pieces that, for example, if you had like a barbecue last minute. I did wear it in the summer. It. Did you? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah just I just wore dress. it. Yeah. Just because yeah. it's flats, it doesn't I mean it still looks fancy. I'm going to be wrong. Yeah. Like, not everyone would wear that yeah, casually, but so I nice. would. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank and it's you. a Liberty Tunnel Lawn. So, you, you cannot go wrong. It washes so well. Any oh. Tunnel Lawn washes so, so well. I just want to rub my face on it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you. Well Lovely. Done. Happy New Year! Happy New Happy Year! Year. <laughs> Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I've had lots of fun. I've had too much fun. I think you're going to have to edit a lot of the giggles out. Oh my god, we've got a lot of editing to do. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. We hope you have an amazing New Year. Um, please do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And do not forget to head over to Alex's channel. I'll make a link. <laughs> so, I don't know what I, put a link on my face. I can try. try. I think there's a way you can do Just that. Just put something on my face. I'm going to put a link right here. Right here. <laughs> right here. Um, so you can check out our video which we made over on her channel. So again, thank you so yeah. much for watching. Have a fantastic week. We'll see you again very soon. Bye.